Holmes. Hey everybody, it's Scarlett and Washi. Well, how y'all doing? Um, I've spent all day with Wowashi just trying to get the shaders for FTB Unleashed Pack to work, and we finally got it to work. And we're gonna walk you through this quite easily. Um, below in the links below, you'll see an already packed up version of Optifine and the shaders mod, or um, why she will get the links for us separately if you want to do it yourself so you can show your friends just in case the Dropbox link messes up or stuff like that. So first, first and foremost, you need to get the FTB launcher. You need to install the FTB Unleashed pack, and we are on the latest version of FTB Unleashed. This is the latest version, which is, I think, 1.1.3. So if you're seeing this in the future and it's updated, sorry! <laughs> So what you're looking for is you want to download that Optifine link from below. It says Optifine, but it's actually, it's packed up for you. We're using Optifine 152 HD UD2. Again, UD2. So not D3, not D5, none of that shit that you've seen before. And then you're going to drag and drop it right here in your folder. Usually it defaults to your downloads folder. You'll see Unleashed. You click on that, you click on your inst mods, this is your jar, this is where all your jar mods would go. And you drop your Optifine in there. Now one thing you do need to do is the next link that you will be downloading from is the shader packs itself. So you download that, and it'll take a couple seconds because it's a big file. And then you'll open it up. See right here, we have it opened up with WinRAR. You can use Zip or, or WinRAR. I, I use WinRAR because we're WinRARs. <laughs> anyway, you open up the shader pack, you'll see it has every single shader pack that is currently kept up to date. Um, what you want to do is you want to drag and drop this folder right here. As you see, I have shader packs. Just drag and drop it in your Minecraft folder in the Unleashed uh, folder. And you get rid of that, and it should look a little something like this when you open it up. You go back, you can exit out of this because it's done, you launch, because for the longest time we get it to work, but it turns out that people were doing the wrong versions. You have to use like an out, a slightly outdated version of the uh, shaders mod to get it to work properly. So we load it up. It takes a bit to load because there's over a hundred mods in this, plus now we have the shaders mod and the shader packs and stuff like that. And uh, I like downloading all of them. I mean, you can pick and choose. You can see which shader pack you want the most and just get rid of the rest if you want to have space on your computer. But I like being able to pick and choose at the last minute. It's, it's nice to, uh, it's a nice variety. So now it's loaded up. Just go into your single player world or your multiplayer world, whatever. You load up the world. Now I have Biomes of Plenty on, so make sure you have Biomes of Plenty on Unleashed if that's what you want. Um, and we're in Creative, so I can fly around and show you. And ta-da! Your shaders work. Congrats. Now do make sure that your computer can work with shaders. I understand that um, it'll work better with NVIDIA and Intel. Most other graphics cards will not support this so do make sure that your computer can handle shaders because um, it's not just about your graphics card it's also about your memory and all of that stuff so you can get a shader pack that does not have moving water and then you just click options to pick your shaders and you'll be able to scroll down here you can turn off cloud shadowing you can add a new block breaking hand up everything you can do the cartoon shaders which will give it the uh, Borderlands feel in the cell shading. You can do that, or you can do the first shader pack, which is pretty CPU intensive, just letting you know, even for me, and I have a really good computer, guys. You can see the water move in, and it's sloshing, and it's really cool. You got your shadows, and then it's pretty. It's really, really pretty. So congrats, you got your shaders to work. Links will be down below, and uh, I can 
You can see me playing with the shader pack on Twitch TV slash Scarlet Rose, and that's Scarlet Rose with a zero, not an O. Bye, guys!